Okay, team. So uh, on Patreon, uh, on this is my website, my chart room website. You can, you guys can see my uh, previous posts. Uh, I do want to say that um, yesterday I had updated XRP, Sirius, ETN, and Solano with projected targets, and, and I got I got a lot of interesting comment uh, content in there. So uh, I want you guys to take a look at that. If you're if you're a member of the chart room, remember membership starts at just one dollar. Uh, but you can always give uh, anything uh, that's in your heart. Um, it's just any dollar in your local currency. Um, I'm trying to make this affordable. So um, really uh, just getting all of this out there for you guys during these times. I put a lot of work into these charts um, in and setting up. So we just recently added Solano. So you guys can take a look at that. Um, but if we go to uh, September 10th on USDT.D, we view the chart. Uh, I'm going to show you some things with USDT.D. So we are currently... On, uh, on top of the trend line. Now, when USDT.D goes up, that means XRP, Bitcoin, and most coins, most altcoins go down. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. When this chart goes up, XRP, Bitcoin goes down because this is tied to the tether manipulation. Okay, um, and we have gone up, as you guys know, as you've been following me, we went up exactly where we were supposed to on the day that I told you guys. So if you watch my video from last week when I told you I was not buying XRP at the moment, this chart is the main reason why. You know, and I have three parts, uh, uh, part one, part two, part three. So I, I, I highly suggest watching last week's video if you haven't got caught up. Um, now, this, this week, this was on September 9th. Again, I'm expecting us to be getting to 369. And then from there, I expect us to be going down. Because look, we're sitting right on top of that really healthily. Now, price could come back down, but we're already in discounted prices if prices go down below that. I think that that is going to be the discount. Okay. Here is XRP experiencing uh, a big pump. However, because USDT.D is going down uh it's going up that means that xrp is now fighting that battler and it's going to have to uh, battle them to stay high so even if it did go high it has to it, it's like it's like a war you can go out to war and look great you know in your shiny armor um but if you're vastly outnumbered by your opponent it might be time to retreat and so you kind of you guys kind of have to look at price a little bit like this. Now, you also can look at this, and it looks very familiar to uh, ADA at the moment, too. So that's kind of uh, a little bit uh, interesting. But I still believe ADA is going to have a big move first. And then XRP is having some uh, issues. But I believe we'll be able to get AXRP later in this month, uh, around the 20th or so. Here is some more of uh, USDT.D. I really believe that we're going to be getting up to uh, this area here, um, the higher one, and, and experiencing some reversals um, because that's that's where the main meat of the of the next wave of RSI. And if RSI is going uh, down on USDT.D, that means prices will be going up for other currencies. And then for XRP, um, at the moment, we're looking down on uh, MACD's uh, open, very wide open mouth. So I'm, I am aware of that. So here's USDT.D at the moment. And um, again, we uh, yesterday we had a, a big move up as we've been on top of here. However, we're not sitting on here exactly. If I was drawing these support wicks, I'd want prices to either hard close against one of them and uh, then be able to go up. And, and today may be the day we may actually come and sit down on there. So again, when this chart goes down, prices go up. Well, this one went down just a little bit and ADA seemed to go up a lot. Um, and when this one went up a lot, ADA didn't go down much, I would think. It's, it's more proportional. So I think that this is a sign that ADA is more bullish. There's an old saying um, it, it's that it's kind of easy to see what stocks to buy in the stock market. Because if you look on the days when the whole markets go down as a whole, look for the ones that went down the least. It's like the, a wave upon the sand. Um, the, the one that's still standing after the, the hard crashing wave comes, the, 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 the tree or the plant that's still standing ha must have stronger roots than what was first realized. And so they, you can see if, if you have a down day and one maybe only went up 10 cents. You can look at that one and say, wow, that must have some bullishness to it. And there's a lot of people that will actually use that type of strategy 
of, of trading when picking stocks they'll just look at the ones that survive the most and then it, it tells you a lot about that one because they were able to survive such opposition and so we are looking in proportional to those kinds of things um i think um there's some good ones uh, that are that are up, up, upcoming somebody mentioned scale yesterday um s-k-a-l-e i believe it is and uh I was examining it yesterday. No, it looks great. It looks good. Um, you're sitting on some support coins. It's a launch coin, but I think it's going to do well at the moment. But uh, I just want to throw that out there um, just from the data. But anyway, guys, I really expect prices to still go up here. Okay. And that means that I think that we can get some ADA that is lower. Um, I also want to mention in the comment section that I, I have some screenshots where ADA was hitting 350 uh, was hitting th uh, 369 now it's showing 359 and people are saying hey my number showing 359 uh, this this on the uh, crypto cap is the exchange is giving me very very wonky numbers the numbers are adjusting after the fact as you guys saw um, I was telling you guys uh, about the, t uh, the manipulation where I had shown some of the volume just being exactly straight and then it doesn't show up on others like I have screenshots that look different than these screenshots and they're both on logarithmic even if you turn it to regular it's like something's updating after the fact and i think there's some heavy manipulation going on behind the scenes to to hide some of to hide some things but uh we can use these still as generalities we can we can still be general with them um but i think there's something fishy definitely going on guys definitely definitely going on so for example from september 8th guys i posted this chart about the usdt uh d on the uh september 8th and, and you can see how price hit this area 369 it sat right on top of this line right here that was that happened but look at this look at that flat type of manipulate it, it's like manipulation and again this is tether so i'm not ex i'm not expecting it to be otherwise i don't trade this chart i use this chart as an indicator for bitcoin and xrp but look at the t look at the prices. People are like, "Hey, how come you got 369? Are my lines incorrect?" Or you know, but look at this 369. But look at today. What happened to a whole a whole 10 cents here? Look, you can't even see my signal anymore. And I called it that day. Something is very, very, very fishy, guys. And I and I remember I told you guys. A while back you're gonna you're gonna see some things that are not chartable there's gonna be some things that are gonna happen um, when I first when I first first opened and started posting uh, on the the telegram community group I was telling people guys it's better sometimes just to hold on for the ride because you're gonna see a lot of funny funny things happening in the markets that are not on the charts and not tradable and, and you're gonna see some things and you're gonna continue to see it more and as prof but Robin said there's going to be a burnout with cryptocurrencies and it's going to be coming. I think we're going to experience it sometime either before October or after October. And I'm at that time, you're going to see the regulations incoming. Um, I mean, we already see them starting to come in, but they're going to really crack down on those things because there's some straight up manipulation that, that's happening with cryptocurrencies. And that's why it's really dangerous. Yeah, you can you can make a lot of money really quickly, but there's going to be some really, really big danger. Uh, that's you're gonna see shh, 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 and and people are gonna be like what there's stuff that I can't even see I, I'm showing you guys right here on, on on this chart like guys there is straight up manipulation and I, I, you know it's gonna it's just gonna only get worse uh, as you as you turn as you as you go on so again for a lot of people it's better just to get your XRP ticket and uh, and wait until um next year come back and and check it you know check your account um, me I like I like swing trading. I like J trading. I, I have uh, my separate bags of just holding XRP holding that I I don't touch. I don't. I'm not going to touch until uh, perhaps next year or so. Um, and then I have my my swing trading bag. And then there are times when I'll take like a quick uh, trade, maybe in the middle of the day. And I, that I don't tell you guys because it's, it confuses a lot of people. By the time I make a YouTube video about it or uh, posting it to the group, you know, sometimes price moves. Um, but I, I do that every now and then. But for the most part, right now, um, I'm just letting you guys know what my swing trade is. And uh, for this week, again, I think I can get uh, better ADA prices um, later this week. Uh, but 
if we don't get them, then I'll, I'll watch for that and next setup. Either way, I'll be updating uh, everyone in my website. So you guys, uh, just like you had uh, my information yesterday, you guys get my charts the moment that I um, that a moment that I'm publishing them or I feel the chart is uh, pretty complete or ready to go. Sometimes I'll pull up a chart and I'll just mull over it for a while. Um, sometimes even it takes a few days. I know that I, I, I'm not I'm kind of overextending myself a little bit by having so many uh, cryptocurrencies in the queue. Um, but uh, I do want you to let you know that the more I spend time on some of these charts, once I build them, uh, you know, first I start building a chart, then I'm able to keep going back. And, and sometimes I just need to just start all over. Like I have two different XRPs um, that are, you know, that I just can get a fresh look like. I'll, I'll delete all the lines and just say, okay, what do I see? And what can I see? And I think that's why there's a lot of people that are, are watching me um, and watching for my charts, because at least you have a set of eyes. This is never financial advice. This is never trading advice of any kind. This is just for er educational, entertainment, and comedic purposes only. Um, but I want you guys to to know that um, I'm, I'm thankful for everybody because I'm realizing there's a lot of people that want a set of eyes in their corner. You don't have to do what I'm what I'm doing. You don't have to do that. But some of you like my eyes on your charts, um, and I'm okay with that. And I'm I'm, I'm gonna I won't be able to update in your guys' charts every single day um, just because of uh, my life at the moment <clears throat> but um i will i will update these charts you know weekly as you guys are seeing so i have a book with um different um cryptocurrencies and i'll make like a, a list so on like one book uh I'll, I'll make a column with lists and I, I make sure that i'm cycling through the queue of uh some of the cryptocurrencies and 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 every now and then you're adding i know in the future guys that um, it's, it's just because of the amount of work it is, uh, I, I will, I may, I may do something for like the, the, in the website, um, that if you are a pledging member of like a certain amount, like $10 or something like that, that I'll be able to uh, make personalized charts for you guys. If you have a, a chart that I won't normally do, or you you can request it. But, um, as of right now, I'm trying to do, uh, these ones that are most popular. Um, and then I did have some requests for T fuel, um, Matic, I'll be updating. I got a request from that one, so I added to the queue. Um, and then I'll do Bitcoin again, and we'll we'll just I'll just share share my eyes. So if you guys are a technical um, analysts yourselves, so or you draw, uh, or you're 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 new to it, um, you know you can use my lines and and feel free to use whatever and technical analysis you guys use because that's just gonna be you know an additional use use this maybe like an indicator you know if, if some of you guys are like hey i see these lines on here but i can just tell you what i see when i'm looking at price i'm looking at the map and i'm saying okay this is normal this is not normal this is abnormal okay this is a failed signal so then we may flip around to the opposite side um these lines are never guaranteed you know these are just that's not the point of all this is the point is to understand what the behavior is you can and and then on top of that you can never guarantee the markets you can only uh stack the odds in your favor um, and when price does something that is not normal, like um, if we're really launching, but it's on a smaller time tri uh, time scale, but it's not in alignment with the major time scale, like this morning with uh, with ADA, we, we really launched, but it was like a one hour chart and there's nothing really on the four hour chart that would indicate we should be launching at this point. Um, you can see that it may not be, be, be so strong at the moment. So it's not saying you can't trade it, if you're, especially if you're micro trading it. Um, but you need to have a good reasons. Um, and uh, if, you're, if your trades are in alignment with the bigger time scales, you have a higher chance of sustaining those higher prices. Because unless you're getting in, getting out, getting in, getting out, getting in, getting out um, on a day-to-day -day basis, there's not really much reason for you to um, expect that a smaller spring will last very, very high because that's not how price works. Price is built on structures. Okay, you have to have foundations because you're having waves and waves of buying. You also need major, major uh, buying to come in to sustain those those prices. And if you're not getting those major waves or know where to expect those waves, then once price gets up to those levels, it can come back down just as quickly. So if you can have a strong setups or if you can have strong foundation, then you can do good. So there's a scripture here that says, um, from Matthew chapter 13, the same day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the sea and a great multitudes were gathered together unto him so that he went into a ship and sat and the whole multitude stood on the shore and he spoke many things to the, unto them in parables saying, behold, a sower went forth to sow 
And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of the earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and they sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundred, some sixty, and some thirtyfold. He who hath ears, let him hear. So there's a lot of spiritual messages uh, behind that and spiritual meanings. But I'm going to now talk to you about just an earthly principle and how it relates to trading. Is that when, when you're having prices and there are a lot of resistances and things that you may not see and you haven't drawn on the charts. That's why it's very important you start drawing on your charts. Then even if you have an opportunity like the seed that's watered and it grows up and it may be, uh, you know, in a good area, but it goes up. And there's a lot of stuff going on, it can push that back down and make it all for nothing. So that's something you need to be aware of. That's how like, that's why you see sometimes chop because there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Um, the other things is that you need to understand about the, the soil that, that springs up. If you spring up and you don't have a foundation or you don't have a structure in place, to, to really launch from that area, that specific price point area, then the launch can be very short lived. So if I see a great a trading opportunity on a five minute chart, but it's only on a five minute chart and on the, the rest of the charts, there, it's, it's just not in the data, then it's very possible that you can have price go up really fast, very quickly, but because it doesn't have the foundation on what it takes. Like if you were to look at the chart on a daily chart and says, where is this trade? Then that chart, that trade can be short lived. Or if you look on the four hour and it's just not there, then that trade is can be very short lived. Um, however, if you have a, a trade showing up on the weekly, on the daily, on the, the the four hour chart, you know, and then also lines up with maybe a two or even a one hour chart, you see that full alignment. You see it there. It's recorded in history. You can't really change it. But people are going to forget the five minute chart in two or three days. It, it you know it, it it's like what happened? I don't know what happened. And sometimes it just drops off the record. Like your, your chart won't even be able to scroll that far. I've had times when I'll pull up a five minute chart and you can only scroll back up to like a month or so. Um, and you can't see five, what the five minute chart looked like years ago. So where's that setup? It doesn't exist. And so um, that's, that's kind of how you have to be looking at trading from a top down perspective. You have to be looking at the, the what's foundational. Because if you spring up without any, if you spring up really quickly without any root um it could be short-lived so we have to see um and and that could really give you guys some some just good ways to think about price when you're more moving towards swing trading a lot of a lot of as i talked about last week you know on on your apps that you're having a lot of them just give you a squiggly line of the past 24 hours so each movement of the line is actually three minutes worth of time approximately so you guys are trading on like micro scales like really micro scales and every movement every time there's an up and down you're thinking you missed the train um, and, and that's, that's kind of, it's kind of a, you know, a, a crazy thing to have. And then I know that some of you guys are so you re concerned about missing the train. Just get on the train, get on the train <laughs> guys. If you think ADA is going to go up and you think, you know, it's going to happen tonight, just get on because you know, ADA is going to go up. You know, we're going to get to over $5. You know, we're going to get there. You know, the charts are healthy in the long term. I've already showed you guys that. Um, I, I really believe we're getting there, um, and I think we're going to hit it this month. It's possible it might delay next week. But I really, really think we're going to be hitting it around up to mid-month. I think I, I said it could be two days to up to maybe two weeks or so. That's what I'm I expecting, and even there I'm flexible. Um, but if you're concerned about ADA, get in ADA. If you're concerned about XRP, get in XRP. ADA is just a short-term thing. I, my real my real, my real bread and butter XRP. So. You know, I'm just waiting for the right moments to get an XRP. But if that's you, then you shouldn't be day trading or you shouldn't be swing trading. You should just be buying, loading up and then just get on, get on board because you're going to do great. Okay. You're going to do great. Just come back later on. Um, but me, I, this is what I do because I've been doing this for years. I've been trading up and down. I don't panic as much and I can, you know, read the maps pretty well, I think. Um, so you know, but, um, I'm not, I'm not losing all my sleep now, nowadays. I'm not, I'm just ready to go. 
you know? So if I think I can get better prices, I'll get it. But I'm ready. To, I'm, I'm okay taking a loss. If I have to, uh, taking a small loss and miss opportunity just to get just to get some better prices because that's what I like to do. That's not for everyone. Some of you guys should not be actively uh, trading. You know, you, you shouldn't. And you need to know who you are as a trader. And I mention that in every one of my videos or I'm starting to mention it more because as there's so many people. But currently, um, again, I just think I can get better prices with ADA. And um, if you don't think you can, don't do it. If you don't have peace, don't do it. Because some of you, what if the move happens really quickly? I have an auto order entry set up. Some of you don't know how to have auto order entry set up. I already told my app to buy on my exchange, which I use BitTrue, at a certain price. That's called a limit order. So I told it to buy when we hit a certain price. So when we hit that green area, it's where I'm moving mine's up today. Um, but I know some also you guys, some of you have been asking me to put up tutorials about how to do that. Um, I don't like to do that kind of thing because I don't know how to blur out my screen and I'm not revealing my public, uh, my public uh, finances to, uh, to everyone. Um, so there are, there are tutorials. Just type in the name of your exchange and type how to place a limit order on such and such exchange. I'll leave that to them to do those kinds of things just because I'll never be uh, so public with uh, with all of my uh, my accounts information. And I don't know how to blur out those things yet. Um, but with all of that said, guys, uh, I want you to let you know that uh, that I'm I'm still here. But, you know, I'm I'm in the chart room, um, in the community room. I'm I'm uh, I'm not always active because uh, I I'm I'm just uh, I I jump in there and I'll, I'll I'll see that. But that community room is for you guys to talk to each other. And to have a place to talk about uh, crypto, to uh, share some uh, enlightening encouragement with each other. Um, there's people that uh, sometimes they're posting scriptures, and you're going to see me sometimes even posting scriptures. And that's the place that I do because uh, you know I'm not ashamed to do that. Uh, I, I want everyone to keep the conversation light in the community room. I want everybody just to you know have a great time, make friends, uh, make contacts with each other. Some of you guys are, are becoming for close friends with each other. And um, shout out to Mr. Soli. He's the the admin, uh, the senior admin of the group uh, of the community room so you guys if you're having trouble reaching me you guys can always uh, reach out to one of the admins and say hey you know I had this important question but uh, Jay Song didn't see it like so if it's a, a question directed especially towards me um, you can reach out to any one of the admins we have uh, Brian um, we have Alicia uh, we have uh, Milton um, he's a he's a really uh, encouragement um, and I read some of his devotionals sometimes uh, on on YouTube so uh, check out uh, check out some of his uh, info he's a really smart guy um, and then we have uh, Stephen uh, Stephen and he is uh, a very good man of God and I I just really like uh, like the admins of the group but there's a lot of there's a lot of community people uh, showing up in the telegram community room the link is in the description and you guys can show up and make some friends and ask questions of each other a lot of you guys are stepping up to the plate uh, responding to each other and that's really great um, and that's why I kept the group open otherwise you know when I, I just first needed some kind of platform to share my charts and at that time I was just using telegram uh, I was going to close out the comments for for nobody to comment on but um, I saw that how much fun everyone was having and everyone kept saying they were having fun talking to each other um, so I let it grow and now there's over 600 people in the, the community room so you guys can show up and, and just make friends and, and, and ask your crypto questions. There's a lot of people that are maybe the same type of trader that you are or maybe some swing, swing trader or they can give you some good resources. But that's what that group is for. OK, and then you'll see me jumping in. You can always get free XRP uh, and Bitcoin updates. But sometimes I'll post uh, what I'm actively um, invested in as well on on my community room um, because it's not really my community room, even though my name's on the on the title. It's um, it's it's the it's uh, I given it to the admins um, so in a, but if the situations arise then it always comes back to me so I just want you to let you guys know that that's how that works um, and uh, that's been my custom and you won't always see me posting in the telegram community room either because I've never been that way um, if you know me since I first started I, I kind of jump in just to give my charts and and if I see some questions I'll, I'll, I'll hop in there but uh, a lot of times I don't get the notifications for for the the community room questions unless you like specifically put my name and then hit reply then sometimes it shows a notification but there are other times it does not I'm letting you guys know that if you have dreams for your the dreams collection you need to uh, you if you really want to you can uh, send it directly to my email the link is in the description j.song uh, 7784 at icloud.com and then I want you to also uh, pray for melody I've been really wanting to release dream collections number six but um, Melody has uh, been a little bit under the weather uh, this past week. Um, so we haven't, um, 
we've had some challenges trying to film it. We did attempt to film it a few times, but uh, her nose was very clogged up. Um, so um, she she just wasn't feeling well. So I was kind of waiting for her to to uh, to film it with me because I, I like to do those kind of things uh, with her on one camera and then me on the other camera so we can read you guys those comments. Um, but uh, I, I love you guys. I bless you. And, uh, and let me say a prayer for you. Lord Jesus, I pray that uh, all the things that are there happening uh, in these coming days, I pray that you would prepare us and guide us and lead us, Lord. We need you involved actively in our trading. Lord, we really, really want your help to guide us and uh, make sure, Lord, that you do not let us miss it. Do not let us miss the major waves of going uh, of going up on XRP and on, on, on our various cryptos that everyone's trading. I know so many people are trading so many different types of cryptos. Lord, I pray that you would just give them guidance and wisdom and uh, not just data, but spiritual insight into things that they cannot see. There are so many uh, things that are just beyond what we have in front of us. And I know, Lord, that you can reveal those things to us. You can you can share things that is happening in secret places. As you did in the Bible, you took the man to what was happening underground. And he said, you said to him, son of man, do you see these things? And they were uh, doing things, evil things in secret places, God. And you, you were revealing to them what was really happening. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would just reveal to us secret manipulations that are happening behind the scenes in the spirit. Let our trading not just be ever just about data, but Lord, I pray that you would give us a childlike faith and a trust in you. And even when we don't see things, we don't see everything and we can never see everything, uh, I think. But through the spirit, you will reveal those things and then we will be able to see. With our physical eyes alone, we have a limit. We have had limitations, but through your spirit, Lord, by your spirit, you can reveal things that are beyond our own eyes and our own resources. You can even reveal to us the future. And I thank you, Lord, for your peace. I thank you, Lord, that you are showing us these things and you're, you're taking us to these levels to, to understand and I pray and I bless you, Lord Jesus, for uh, for the prophetic community who's been revealing various things about various cryptocurrencies, Lord. And thank you that um, that uh, the Telegram community room is sharing these things amongst each other, God. And I pray that they would um, always uh, be a vessel of light for you. And I pray that you would just illuminate yourself to them, Father. Let us place our trust and our hope in you um, because you have never let us down. You will never leave us and you will never forsake us. Lord, we put our trust in you. Thank you, Jesus, for, for dying on the cross, but for coming back to life and being alive and risen from the dead. We need, we need you actively in our lives, not just our trading. We need you in our personal lives to, to break forth the, the chains that bound us. Even the sins that, we, that so easily ensnare us, Father, that those sins will be broken and the power of darkness will be broken from our lives. Lord, that we, as we uh, keep our eyes on you, the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and all the rest shall be added unto them. God, I pray that as a community, we're able to, to come, come together in, uh, in a community of the, of the Lord and, and come before your throne. God, to, to, to seek after you. And then we know that you'll reveal all of the, the other things. For the Bible says, you know the things we have need of, but seek first the kingdom of God and all the rest will be added unto you. Lord, we thank you for the rest, but you said you to seek you first. We love all the things and the bells and the whistles, Lord. We like those things, but we love you. Lord, let us never hold our wealth so close that we cannot be following after you. Let the wealth never grip our hearts, but rather let you grip our hearts so that we can always keep open hands, Lord Jesus, as you put wealth and much wealth into our hands. Lead us and guide us into these ways. Uh, lead us and guide us into your future, um, whether cryptocurrency is involved or not, or if this is just uh, here for us now as gifts, we thank you for these gifts. We thank you for this time. And Lord, we also thank you for the healing of Melody's song. I pray that you would just 
uh, touch my wife, God, deeply. And, 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 and I pray that you just uh, bring your healing power over her as she's, as she's resting right now. I pray that you would just uh, uh, release a wave of your healing and, and a destruction to all the infirmity that's in, uh, attacking her body and, and uh, uh, death. And, and uh, let the infirmity just depart from her body in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we believe it, we pray it, we receive it. Thank you for your healing and for your strength, Lord. Thank you that I have people here over the internet that are also praying and believing with us, God. And thank you for all your blessings and your, your work. And Lord, bless all the, the partners who are uh, partnering with me uh, on the, the Patreon, Lord Jesus, who are supporting me with their resources and their finances. Lord, I, I pray that you would just do a special blessing for them because they took a, a leap of faith to support the, this type of work. Um, and I know it's uh, in, in a way it's a type of business, but in other sense, there's a type of ministry that's going on here because we're pointing, uh, we're pointing our way towards you, Lord. With or without resources, I point towards you, God. With or without finances uh, uh, from external sources, Lord, we trust in you. And I thank you that you've already given us so much directions. And I, I thank you that you're getting actively involved in our trading more and more on a shorter and shorter time frame. And also on the larger time frames. I'm, I'm just, we're just so grateful. Thank you, Lord, for all the wonderful prophecies that we've received. Thank you for all the words we've received from you. Thank you for all the spiritual messages you've given us uh, during these times. I thank you for the encouragement and that you've given my brothers and sisters. And you've lifted them up and helped them, helped them through their darkest times. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you've shined your, your, your light on, on them and you're, and you're turning their lives around and you're bringing them healing from the inside out, from their, from, their, from their souls. You are bringing a restoration to their very souls, things that go beyond money, finances, and resources. Uh, I see in my spirit, Lord, that you're, you're giving a restoration to relationships. Right now, in the, in the, as, I'm, as I'm saying this prayer with my eyes closed, I see a restoration of relationships. Uh, for some that have have had broken relationships, uh, I see a, a marriage uh, being restored. There's a marriage that is being restored, and that is that it's on the books to be healed. And uh, there's somebody that needs to accept this by faith that this is their marriage and needs to. Um, it's been a broken marriage, and you think it's going to be uh, dissolved. But the Lord is the Lord is. I feel like the Lord is revealing to me right now. I can see a, a marriage. There's a there's a man and there's a woman. Um, and they are, they're thinking that everything's going to end in disaster. And the Lord's saying, no, I'm going to restore it. And, and like the price that will shoot up, their marriage relationship will shoot up in a mighty way. Um, I, the, Lord, the Lord is going to do that for you. Yes, Lord, thank you for restoring that marriage, that relationship that needs your help. Lord, we pray for that marriage. We, we pray for those marriages that are, that are being uh, attacked by the enemy that are on the rocks. Lord, I pray that you would just bring a healing to those marriages. Bring a restoration, Lord. We rebuke against the spirit of divorce. That that divorce will, that will not come up in their vocabulary. That that word will be banned from their house. That you will bring healing and a health and bring that marriage back to health in Jesus' name. Yes, let that marriage come back to health in Jesus' name. Thank you. And if that's your marriage, we pray for you. If those are if those are multiple marriages, then may that be for you in Jesus name. Um, I, I may they always Lord, may they always choose their marriage. And as long as both choose their marriage, I pray that you would just launch that marriage into a, 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 a healthy place and back to a, a restorative place, a place that has been restored. Yes, Lord, bring that um, bring that restoration to this marriage, Lord. In Jesus name, we pray that. Uh, there's a, a little boy. I see uh, I, like a little boy that's um, he's he's been sick. He's been ill. Um, if that uh, Lord, we pray for this little boy who's sick. I see like some type of something in his leg. Uh, I, I believe there's something wrong with his leg. I, I'm, I'm just feeling this in my spirit. Um, but Lord, I pray that you would just bring a healing to that little boy and his leg. Uh, whoever this boy is, Lord, I pray that uh, that you you'd bring him back to a, a place of healing so that he can play and he can run and have fun and and his uh, on his life. God, I pray that you would do these things for this boy and and bring a healing to all the families. The person who's sick in their stomach, there's a woman that's sick in her stomach. Lord, I pray that you would heal that woman in her stomach, Lord, and uh, I pray that you would just bring a healing to to the to her lower abdomen, Lord. Uh, I I believe uh, she's been struggling. Um, 
with a with a with a major uh, health issue in her lower. I, I want to say it's like her gut. Lord, I pray that you would just bring a healing to that abdomen and her gut right now in the name of Jesus. As a team, we all pray for her, Lord, and uh, we pray for this family, Lord Jesus, that is that is hurting. God, we pray for the the family that is that is uh, that is feeling lost and out of place. God, I, there's a family that 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 needs you, Lord. Um, I, I as it's coming out of my mouth right now, there's a family that that is very poor, and I pray that you would just uh, there's somebody listening. There's a there's they're part of a family. I believe it's this this is a man um, that's listening. He's part of a family. Um, he's one of the family members, and he's very the family is very 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 poor. Lord, I pray that you would just uh, feed this family and 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 give them uh, give them food and and give them uh, clothing, give them all for their necessity. Lord, uh, whoever this family is, Lord, uh, if you re reveal it, God, bring bring this. Family family healing and and uh, bring this family healing in their finances bring them back to a place where, where they're able to to eat and have uh, resources lord and um there's also a, a a young a young man lord who who needs some uh, he wants to do uh, trading but he does not have any uh technology to do the trading lord please give him um some good technology lord release a, a special blessing of finances that that he'll receive the technology uh that you will give it to him uh from the north the south the east and the west that you will give a a, a special blessing on him so he can trade uh, Lord, we thank you for this, for these, for these things, Lord. I thank you for for these words that are that are coming. And I'm, as I'm praying for these people right now, I see their their faces and I see their situations uh, coming to coming to me, Lord Jesus. Uh, I pray that you would just uh, bring a, a special uh, blessing to them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh God, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the, the, the Holy One of Israel. You are the Creator. You are the, the awesome God. You are the one that we uh, we cling to, Lord Jesus. You are the one that we receive from. Lord, you are the one, and, uh, and I'm thankful that you always uh, get to interrupt our plans and uh, have your way. And I pray that you would just be with these people now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. Be with them. Give them peace. And let them find their time and their places with you. Let them find their, their home with you. Let them be hidden inside of you, Lord Jesus. And Lord, let us all be hidden inside of you. For we need you more than money. We need you more than things. I thank you and I praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you very much, team. I, I, I really uh, thank you for spending time with me um, in these moments. Um, you know, I'm I'm nobody. I'm a nobody. But through the Lord, we're somebody. Um, we all need Jesus. We all need we all need him. I need him. Um, so, uh, yes, I, I bless you guys and have a great day, okay? We'll talk to you later this week.